Welcome to Ads My Way. Once again, we thank you so much for joining me again today. Today we're going to talk about how to create campaign on Ads My Way. On the last two tutorials, we talked about how to create your ad and register your ad within the system and save your ads on Ads My Way. Then on the second tutorial, we talk about how to manage your ads, make changes to your ads. You know, you can also make changes to your ad while your campaign is ongoing. The changes will just become effective and updated within your campaign. So what we're going to do today is we're going to log into the system and we're going to look at how to create campaign on Ads My Way. So again, I'm going to end login as client user in the system, which we have been using all along and go through creating a campaign. We've gone through the dashboard, what it means, what it does. Uh, I think the next thing is for us to now go directly to create campaign. As we discussed earlier, before you can create a campaign, you have to have an ad already registered, created and registered in the system. So you can now attach an ad to your campaign. And we're gonna show you how to do that today. So here I am as a client user, I've logged into the system. I want to create web ads, which are the type of ads that have been loaded onto the system. And I want to upload a banner ad, for example. I want this ad to become active. Uh, the name of my campaign is going to be new uh, customers. Okay, I want to target new customers. I want the ad to be active. Uh, effective, I would uh, say effective, uh, let's say effective August 17th to September 17th. Okay, so that will make a 30 day campaign. I have an option if I want my campaign to run every day of the week or certain days of the week. Look, if I'm a nightclub, I'm only running my ad on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If I'm a restaurant that serves mostly dinner, I want to run my ad on Wednesday through Sunday, something like that. Okay, or you can also just simply allow your ads to run every day of the week. In addition to that, one of the other unique things about Ads My Way, you can actually determine what day of the week your ad should run. Uh, every day of the week, round the clock, or you could say, I want it to run from ah, 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. or 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Or you can just click all, so your ad runs any time of the day. So you have that flexibility. Here you can set a budget and say, I want to spend 1,000 Naira on a daily basis. The coupon and the coupon value are related to customers who chose not to use credit or debit card to pay for their ads. They want to pay cash. The system would allow you, and I will show you later in your setup, to go to the bank and make a deposit into accounts for Ads My Way. When you come back and give the bank transaction, the system will issue you a coupon ID number with the value of your deposit. And then each week as your ad uh, charges are processed, they will be charged against the coupon value. So say, for example, you have a coupon value of 5000 And at the end of the week, you had spent 3000 The system will charge the 3000 against the coupon value. The following week, the coupon value will be reduced to 2000 And that's how it works. I will take you through all that process. So now, I'm not using coupon. The next step is for me to attach an ad to the system. Let's go and see if I have a banner ad. I do have a banner ad, and I do have one that is approved. So I will select the ad. And as you can see, almost automatically, the ad is attached to my campaign. And remember, when I set up the ad, I determined how much I want to pay per click, I determine what kind of, uh, I set up my business, my subcategory, uh, uh, how much I want to pay per click, the 
the price per impression is fixed. So all that is done. The next thing is, where do I want to run my ad? The whole country, just the state, uh, just the city, or just a local government area? In this case, I say I want to run my ad in a city. And my country is Nigeria. So it will pull up all the states in Nigeria for me. I live in Lagos. My business is in Lagos. So I select Lagos. Okay? If you select city, your ad will go to everyone that is looking on a website or on an app that is linked to our platform so you, they will be served with your ad. If you want to narrow your ad to a small local government area, you can also do that. So for a restaurant that you know, the only people that will get to your restaurant are within four or five kilometers of your restaurant, then you want to run your ad on the LGA. If you know you're selling a product where everybody within the Keja area or an entire city will come and patronize you, then you want to run your ad for the entire city so your ad can go out to everybody that can come out to visit you or if you're someone that have a delivery service and you can reach a wider audience, you could even do an entire city, uh, uh, an entire state or multiple city within a state. So in this case, let's look at Lagos. Okay, I want to run my ad in, um, let's say, Ikeja. I want to run my ad in, let's say, Ojodu. Which are all Ojota is in the same area, uh, Ojodu is in the same area. So you're targeting specific cities that are close to you that customers can come in and do business with you. So I've targeted three cities, okay, that are very close together. Now I go to some social targeting. Who do I want to target? I want to target people that are between the age of 20 and 6. 67 okay I want both male and female married or single but I'm only targeting household with children and I'm looking for people that, that are making between a hundred thousand and a million naira so I selected the demographic then what what are the interests now I go to industry or interest what are their interests the interests are arts and entertainment. Um, uh, I'm looking for beauty and fitness, shopping, travel, online community, uh, books and literature, computer. These are the interests that I'm looking for, for them to have uh, to be interested in my product. So now what I've done, I've created my campaign. This is the campaign I want to run. I'm running an ad for them to join for free. I'm looking for new customers. I'm going to be active from August 17th to September uh, uh, 17th. I'm running a banner ad. And I'm running the ad every day of the week and all day 24 hours that people are available. I want to run in just uh, several cities in Lagos State. So I selected the cities that I want. I selected the age bracket, male and female, married and single, but only household with children. And I'm looking for people that earn income between 100,000 to 1 million naira or more. And I select all the interest or value to those people. Then I create my campaign. Voila. So the system now wants to know how am I going to pay for my campaign? I need to register a payment form. I can say, okay, I want to pay by PayPal. That means the system will charge my PayPal account on a monthly basis. Or I want to register a new card. And I can select, okay, it's a MasterCard, and I want to register the card. Or if I already have cards on the system, I will click on Fund Campaign. If I click on Fund Campaign, the system will take me to all my credit cards. For example, here, fund campaign. If I click continue, it will take me to all my current uh, funding option that I already have set up in the system. The other option for you, for example, right here, you don't see the ability to 
pay cash to the bank. So I will go to my client profile and click on register payment form. As you can see here, I can register credit cards or I can go make payment at either of these bank accounts, put the transaction code, put the amount, register the amount that I paid into the account, put my email and submit. The system will go to the account and verify the transaction code and the amount. If it's able to confirm, it will generate a coupon code and email it to you. You can now go back to your campaign and put in your coupon ID and it will pull up the amount and your charges. Otherwise, the next option for you is to go in here, register the credit card you want to use to pay for your campaign and voila, you will be completed. If you already have a funding source, registered in the system you just click here and it will show you those funding source but in this case there are no other funding source if you do you will simply select which funding card you want to use and it will be used to process your campaign and basically that's it once you do that your campaign is ready you are good to go on august 17 your campaign will start running it's very simple to create a campaign and to run a campaign on ads my way but remember several things one you must create your ad and have your ad registered in the system two you must come back to create your campaign and attach an ad to your campaign register your form of payment or make a deposit at the bank and the system will give you a coupon code once you've done that and you submit your campaign will automatically launch on the start date one thing that the system also does once you've utilized up to 80 percent of the budget on your campaign the system will now be, send you an alert to let you know you need to update your budget amount and that's it thank you so much for joining me you see it's very simple to run a campaign on ads my way thank you and have a wonderful day